Welcome back! In one of our previous videos, we installed KDE as an alternate desktop environment for Ubuntu 11.10. You will notice off the bat that when we did this, we also managed to install KDM. You get prompted during the install of KDE as to what login manager you'd like to use. I chose KDM in the previous video, and this is what I've got. We've essentially substituted the Light DM login screen with the KDE version. As you notice, it looks very different. We have all of our options still in the options menu. So yes, we can boot into the standard stock Ubuntu 11.10 that features Unity, but it's not going to match the same theme. And if, you, if you're a stickler, if you like everything to be uniform, if you like it to look somewhat the same, you can change that back. And I'll show you how to do so. Changing your login manager is very simple. Now the first thing we need to do is come up click on the dash button and search for terminal. Once in terminal, you're going to type sudo space dpkg-reconfigure space kdm since we're currently using kdm. Hit enter and enter your password. At this prompt, hit enter. Then you use the arrow keys to toggle up and down to light dm and hit enter. Now we can simply exit the terminal. And I'm going to come up and restart. You can also log out. I've been in this situation. I'm going to take the restart button just to bring it back up from a fresh clean restart. While this is rebooting, let's take just a second to discuss the third option that was in the login manager prompt. That third option was GDM. That's the GNOME desktop manager. And that is the same login screen that we've had with the previous versions of Ubuntu prior to 11.10. And there we go. We now have LightDM set back as our default login screen just like it was when we first set up Ubuntu 11.10. If you click the Options button, we also still have our alternative desktop environment set up. If we go ahead and punch in our password and hit Enter, we'll be taken back to stock Ubuntu 11.10 with the Unity desktop environment. And that's pretty much it. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, to stay up to date whenever we upload new videos. Also, feel free to swim by our website at techiesmarts.com, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash techiesmarts. You can find all those links in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching.